Hi, uh, I already made one video about uh, some extension for uh, Mobius camera so that anyone can uh, use uh, this lens or similar for telephoto. Uh, this thing is 3D printed and it is on uh, Thingiverse. Uh, I should make additional L bracket or something for uh, monitor so that I can actually see what I'm recording. Right now I'm using uh, improv improvised uh, 25 milliwatt transmitter and watching on screen on the helmet uh, uh, FPV setup. So uh, by plug it uh, in, uh, it uh, getting audio and video out, actual video. Uh, how it looks inside uh, first I bought uh, this ring this ring adapter for some uh, camera which has a bionic system uh, just uh, snapping not rotate, not twisting and uh, Mobius is At first I planned uh, for night use and uh, here is sensor uh, so I will orient to, toward ground so that uh, dust doesn't go and glue it here uh, uh, air cut filter infrared cut filter those filters you can buy uh, somewhere on eBay and uh, doesn't cost too much uh, don't know where is my remote for example um, ah it is pointless pretty much suppression and uh, today I got lucky uh, because of May first on airport, sport airport, they uh, run some ultralight uh, airplane, and uh, I was able to record. Uh, almost can see a pilot. Uh, who is the pilot? I know who is the pilot, but uh, uh, it is not yet visible. Uh, not that uh, good magnification like uh, telephoto. And uh, also, I had problem because I. I'm holding something like this and uh, it's uh, shaking <laughs> it will be better actually uh, to put at least on the tripod so that uh, it's uh, shaking just a little bit because of mass of inertia it will be more stable or I have something for quadcopter use, but it is uh, intended uh, for recording from a bow on some string and uh, uh, for multiple cameras. Uh, one from this side, another from this side, one uh, above, and uh, <coughs> this setting is from earlier day when I uh, uh, making review of small quadcopter so that it looks uh, pretty nice. Um, let me see whether it <laughs> still works. I just uh, make a different battery adapter and uh, now it should to stabilize so that no matter how I orient uh, until uh, 45 degrees just touching uh, it make a little bit jump but uh, up to 45 degrees it remains uh, oriented down of course I can uh, change PID inside but it was a uh, pretty long time ago and I forgot which program actually uh, uh, should to run in order to uh, change PID and other settings uh, for example power, how much power uh, to be invested to stabilize. If too much power, it will overheat. Uh, so uh, now I will show you uh, a short sequence uh, with 15-20 uh, seconds uh, of this airplane. Uh, it is great magnification. Um, 
I think that airplane uh, was flying about 300 meters, maybe more. So that's it. Uh, okay. Bye bye.